anything of use. regards you lifelessly. Enjoying party, drinking, talking. Politicians, minor nobles, fist officers, all sorts. Traps, please.
Seems simple enough. Boots have seen everything. The corpse has nothing.
next, I wonder. On I go. Well, well, well. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. I'm ready. Very well. There's no time to waste. Take two. Take two. Take two. <sighs> no time to rest. Have I been this way before?
Herman, is that you?
Whatever it takes. You've got to keep moving. Assume nothing. Onward. Within reach. on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. like the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no keyhole. The ring slots perfect. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. On my way. Hollow-eyed faces stare out of the cells. Some meet your eyes, but most look away. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Please. What are you? He'll find you, you know? And he won't kill you. He won't ever let you die. Under the grime, you can see how pale he is. You can see the hunger in his eyes, in all of their eyes. Each one is an emaciated, starving vampire spawn. More than that, you can see that each prisoner is marked with a scar, a rune carved into their flesh. He carved it himself. Said it bound me to his ascension. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> His stuff. It controls everything down here. But he never sets it down. You'll never get it. You can't. It's not possible.
And then, what happened to us? I, I don't know. It's all I've ever felt. I'll try. I promise I'll try. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I'll go on like this. Oh, curse to put my hands on everything. He opens the door, I get his leg. The eyes. Yeah. We'll be out of here in no time. Are you sure? Alive. S smells like. No, Chessa, stop it. This isn't you. I I'm hungry. Ugh, starved. And you look a tasty treat. Uh, no, Chessa. No, oh, gods, if only I could think. But this. Hunger. This is no ordinary hunger. This is the hunger of a vampire spawn. One that hasn't fed since it was created. It's that obvious, is it? Well, then there's no hope for us, even if we got out of here. It's Casador. His servant kidnapped us. The pretty one with the frilly clothes and white hair. One moment we're at camp, then the world goes dark. The next thing I remember, there's someone breathing on my neck, a tongue, uh, and then the, the, the pain. All the monsters I ever met were in books. I never even made it to the adult hunt, but now I'm one of them. I'm a spawn. Please, if you've any mercy, put us down like the prey we are. No, no, you can't. You mustn't. I'll drink you dry as a desert. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the hunger. If you were to free us, there's no knowing what we'd do. Behind the exhaustion, starvation and fear, recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, hope. That's true. The book said so. The spawn are only bound as long as their lord lives. Casador's got this staff. It controls the doors. If you get it, you can set everyone free. If you get it, somehow. Behind the exhaustion, starvation. You. You really mean it? Casador's uh, uh, got this staff. Good luck. If you fail, well, I suppose we'll be seeing you again in here.
just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, the ring slots. pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend... His punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. You were distracted by an error. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. <laughs> 